Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Thanks for joining. So today we're remaking the rattle shaker that I used for a baby shower gift where I put the rattle in um, on top of the gift wrap uh, present and tied it with, um, you know, just regular ribbon. And so we're going to recreate it. And it's what I mean, it's such a favorite project of mine, even though it's the first time that I've done it. I know I'm going to be making a ton more because it was actually one of the few projects where um, what I designed in my head translated to, you know, this beautiful product without making very many adjustments. And normally I will cut something and then I got to make some changes here and there, like even well thought out projects. So anyway, I'm super excited. I'm going to show you how I created the confetti that went inside and um, just like all my tips and tricks as usual. All right. So it's sort of laid out here. Let's talk about what we have. So I am super excited because it is September, right? And I bought this from the Dollar Tree last year during the holiday season. It's faux snow and it's got, um, it's got a little pink, a little like pearlescent kind of feel to the, to the snow. And so it works so well in this, um, where did I put it? So I mixed, this is leftovers from the first one, and I know with the lights and, and all this. Um, it's basically just, I went with um, kind of like that pearlescent look and white and pinks. So you can see, and you can hear it, like it makes great noise, right? But we also don't wanna make it so heavy. And I don't like using so much of glitter because I feel like glitter gets everywhere. So, uh, some things that I bought this these are just stars and you can hear it right so I think this is from Party City it's just a thicker paper it's different size um, stars and then these are just from like I don't know different random Amazon stuff and then this is from the Dollar Tree this and this and I love this because it's a dollar and it comes in usually like a three pack like this so I like, you know, just the colors and whatever. I mean, from this pack, it was only the pink that I was able to use, but it's super light, so it's nice, and then it just gives it some color. So anyway, um, and then these. Because I wanted to go more with the pale pink. I didn't use too much of this, but I did put it in here. It's just like a little bit of color with everything else. So I'm actually gonna put a little bit more of the snow in here. So give me a second. Mm, I have a scooper somewhere. <laughs> uh, sorry. I'm, you know, I know at some point I need to stop apologizing because it's just going to be like, it's just me every day. <laughs> um, a little bit of a hot mess. All right. So I'm just taking this little spoon. I'm dumping in the faux snow. And what's nice about mixing in a container like this is you can make corrections, right? So if it's too light, like I have a feeling this will be too light, um, I can add more pinks to it. It's just a little bit light. So actually I'm gonna open this up and put some of these and then mix this up. And I'm going to put a little bit more stars in here. So this is more the color combination that I was going for um, with sparks, you know, like with the pop of pink. But I want the sound of the stars. So you can probably hear it now that I've mixed that in there. Okay. All right, so we've got our mix down. So let's talk about this. I didn't weed this at all because I wanted you to see how easy it is. Um, and I, you know, when I first started crafting, I don't know why I thought this, but I thought I was really going to be into HTV. So I have like, dude, just so many rolls still. Um, and this is from Polytape. And I'll show you why I like this so much. Um, so I'm going to start in the middle. And so I need to pull it up, right? But then once I have that initial one, I'm just 
taking my hand and pulling off the rest. So in the middle, um, I put Sarah Avery, even though that's not where it's gonna go, but just to save, you know, on the HTV. And see, do you see how I'm just pulling it off? And if you go to, so everything is on my website now. So I have a really comprehensive website. So it's the uselesscrafter.com. And when you go there, you're gonna get pictures, links to the video, links to the materials, so that it's super easy for you to follow along and recreate these projects with me. Um, all right, so that was the middle. I'm gonna flip this over so you can see how thin that is. So this V right here, this little line, it is so thin, right? And you saw how I weeded that, right? Let's weed the outside of this um, heart little thing. I love using HTV for really delicate, intricate um, projects because it goes, you know, I mean, first of all, I'm weeding really easily, right? Um, it stays in place and then I just iron it onto the cardstock. So it's, I mean, it's just so easy. All right, so in between these little uh, lines between the hearts, I have like thin lines coming out. So I don't even know if I can like get the camera to like focus on this. But towards the end, it's so, yeah, you can barely even see it. It's so thin. I mean, I just love it, right? Like there's no way I would have just wanted to bang my head if I did this on paper, because there's no way. Um, it would have been so thin, it would have just ruined the whole thing. I would have had to recut it a bazillion times, or I would have to make it so much thicker that I lose the, um, like the really just like delicate features of this rattle, right? I mean, I don't wanna make the name super thick and big. And also, I wanted the name to fit inside my dome, so I was, you know, a little limited on what I could do. So, all right, and that's all I needed to weed from the name. And then from the lines, you can see it's so thin that it started to come up in some places. And look, I can just pick it off like that. I mean, this is when you get good HTV, you know, I. I can't stop talking about certain products because it really makes such a difference. And, okay, so I know. Um, I do love this HTV. I'm not an HTV person like I thought I would be. <laughs> but, um, oh, I forgot what I was gonna tell you. Oh, this will only take a few seconds to adhere. So, not only is it easy to weed, it cuts, you know, it can handle the intricate cuts, but it doesn't take long to press. So on paper, it's not a big deal, right? Because we know we're not gonna be washing it. So I'm not as concerned with peeling as I would be if we were doing this on a shirt or something, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. But on this, even on a shirt, um, it only needs up to five. Oh my God, my throat. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. It only needs up to five seconds for it to adhere. So what's great about that is like, I don't know if you guys saw it, but I did Charlotte's backpack and I was able to do, you know, like a really decorative backpack because, um, I was able to iron on so much and not even worry about the backpack burning or not being able to handle it. All right, so I'm cutting out the name because the name is gonna go on a different piece. All right, so I've heated up my mini. This little heart thing is gonna go around this piece. So I wanted the details, right? I, oops, I don't have it lined up properly. Hold on. Here we go. So you wanna line this up. You wanna get your heat pad out because you don't want the heat to ruin your mats. 
So this is a um, self-healing mat. I love it. So it's always out on my desk. It's from Cricut. And usually it's on sale for 40% off. So you just want to make sure when you buy that that you wait for that. All right, so I lined it up. And then I have my mini. And I'm just going to take my mini. And I'm going to press it just enough so that it's sticking to the paper. And then I'm going to lift off the um, the transfer sheet that it comes with, the sticky transfer sheet. Right? It's not on completely. So what I want to do is now I want to take off the transfer sheet and then I'm going to put my Teflon sheet on top instead. And then now I'm going to apply the heat. So I'm going to hold it down for like three seconds in each area so that it gets the proper amount of heat for it to adhere. And this time when I'm pulling off the Teflon sheet, um, there's no resistance, right? So the thing with this is it's sticky. And even though it does pull off really nicely, um, there's still a little bit of resistance. And so what happens is when you pull a little bit, you're pulling kind of like the anchor away from your paper. So I, you know, always like to go back and hit it again to make sure that now this time it's really adhering. I'm putting the heat down a little bit of pressure. It's not that big of a deal on paper. And um, when I pull this off, there's absolutely no resistance. So the anchor is down. It's you know, it's like the stickiness, the whatever it is, activated, and now it's on my little piece. And look how beautiful that is. Another reason why I love HTV on paper is this is just their gold, but it's got like an extra, you know, it almost feels like a metallic or a foil, and it would be really difficult to replicate the thinness of of this detail with paper. All right. Enough of my HTV love. Well, actually, no, we got to do one more. <laughs> this is the name. So the name Sarah Avery is going on here. And so here is my offset. Here's the name. Look how tiny that is, right? Same deal. I'm going to iron it down and then I'm going to pull off the sticky sheet and then I'm going to put the Teflon sheet on. Now the Teflon sheet is on my Amazon shop. And I love it because for ironing stuff, like for like t-shirts and stuff, for the dark color shirts, like your reds, your blues, your blacks, when I use the Teflon sheet, I put the big piece over so none of the heat press is touching the t-shirt directly. And so I feel like I avoid that weird, you know, stain. So that's another reason. All right, so this is down. I'm going to give it one more press. Um, okay, done. All right, so with this, this is going inside the dome. I also have two domes for you to see. This one is the bigger one. I'm trying to think, when did I use this? This is more for, I don't remember when I've used this in the past, but this is really big. This is uh, four inches while this one is just a little bit over three inches. This size is perfect for your Pringles can. Um, I think I have one, I do. Like this, right, how cute is that? So this three inch one, it's a little bit over three inches. It's on my Amazon shop. Um, it's perfect for the Pringles can and for these cupcake shakers uh, cake topper shakers and then also what I'm using is a gift wrap shaker <laughs> all right so it it is an ornament it's supposed to be um, you know it has a the other side and then it's a ornament that you put on a Christmas tree so it has this little hanger thing right here a regular pair of scissors you can go and you can just snap it off whoa all right that's it and then I wouldn't worry about this being sharp because it's being totally covered in, in our project. Okay, you need a heat gun going, which I have on the side. Um, in the meantime, let's build the layers of this. So I'm gonna turn off my heat press because we're done with using the mini. And then what you want is you want foam tape, uh, foam squares, and I have it here somewhere. <laughs> it's here, I oh, here it is. All right, 
Um, I, this is Dollar Tree foam tape. So I always worry about how well it sticks. So I double up. I use Barely Art glue. The reason why I use the Barely Art glue is for the precision tip. This will allow me to get into small pieces like this without it spilling everywhere. And that's another reason why I'm not using my hot glue gun for this. Okay, so let's start building our layers. I'm just gonna put one foam square on each side so that it's balanced. And then I'm gonna peel off. Um, so I don't know if I can tell you this, but I am because I don't think, I don't think Barely Art is gonna know that I'm talking about it. But Barely Art glue, the same one here, I'm on their design team, so I am a little biased. Um, so I'm gonna put a little bit of glue here to make sure that it sticks. Um, they are in the works of developing, providing foam tape. So I am super, super excited about that. Um, also, oh, speaking of Barely Art, so, you know, my whole crafting for Cubs, um, all of that came from being on their design team and them asking us what we want to do. So that was, yes, it was totally my idea. Although, you know, I got a lot of inspiration from their um, cards for Cubs, right? Um, it went to foster kids. And so, you know, just building this crafting community. Anyway, um, I, you know, really enjoy being on their design team. They are opening up spots for Q4. So um, for Q4, including myself, I need to apply. So I've already done that. But I really enjoy being on that team. It's a lot of fun. It really encourages, it's more than just being on a design team where you're just, um, you know, showcasing your work and reaching, you know, like their followers and, you know, just being challenged and, you know, all of that, like as a creator you want, right? But um, this is also, it feels a little bit like community service. So, you know, how are we helping the community? Are we sharing tips and tricks? And, you know, how are we as creators reaching out to everyone? I know it sounds a little corny maybe and a little fake, but it really isn't. It's, um, I just love like, I don't know, we sent out over a thousand craft kits to foster kids so that they can create and we're, you know, adding to the crafting community. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a feel good design team for a reason, right? Like they, we actually did a lot of good. So anyway, that's my little thing right now. The application process is open. So, and they don't care about how big your following is. So if you feel like, oh my gosh, I only have 200 followers. I have a design team member right now that only has 200 followers. And then there were some from last quarter that like True Paper Love, right? She's, I don't know, I think at this point, like at 80,000 followers. So it, you know, we're all over the place. All right, this last one. So you can see how thick it is, right? We were just building, building, building. So this one is going to go inside in the middle like that. I'm gonna press down to make sure all that glue and the foam tape is all like activated and pushed down. So that goes in the middle. This dome is gonna go over it. So you see how like the circle is just a tad bigger than the dome because that's gonna allow us to put our hot glue gun all around to seal all of the contents in, inside, which we haven't added yet. <laughs> but I wanna show you on the side, see how the dome goes all the way out here? Our name goes up to about half. So whatever confetti that we put in there, we don't wanna overload it. We want just enough so that you can still see the name. But the name is, you can see how thick it is. We've added that in there. Um, so that the name is always visible. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to add our confetti mix. And last time when I added this, I added too much. I put the name in and I realized that, so then I had to um, dump some back in there. So you can always test it out first. So let's put this down. Oh, that's perfect. It, we could add a little bit more. 
I'm gonna add just a tiny, just a, just a dash. <laughs> Okay. All right, so I'm gonna put that aside. I'm gonna move this so that my desk doesn't look so, so messy. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down. Let's double check it. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna put this down, make sure that there is enough room all the way around and then I'm gonna hold it like this. So I use glitter cardstock, so it's a little bit stiffer and it, you know, is easier for me to hold to keep it in place. All right, so I'm gonna do a line right here. So I'm gonna take my glue gun. And don't worry about the mess, because part of the design is that we have something covering that part. So don't worry, I've got you. <laughs> okay, so I've put that down. I'm gonna slowly rotate this over. I don't wanna burn myself either. So. Ooh. So my, paper separated a little bit. So there's a little bit of glue inside, but that's okay. And I've almost got it all the way around. Okay, perfect. So that is all the way in. You can hear it. It's so stinking cute, right? It's stinking cute as is before we do anything to it. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry for a second. Let's start assembling this thing. So this is the, um, you know, it's all about that the offset. Um, I did the design space tutorial yesterday. It's going to post today, and then this will post the following day. Um, but it was a super easy design. Everything is just like one item and then offset, right? Like the name. The name with the offset and then five times right and then it's just a circle same thing with this the heart frame and then an offset and an offset that's it all right so this is big enough that we can put foam tape on so anywhere where there's a heart i'm going to put a little foam square just you know i'm just layering and adding um depth to this piece even though there is already a lot because of the the dome itself right I'm gonna put one more right here. Oh, I got a little bit of the glue gun. I, um, so I have another one that I'm gonna be working on and it's gonna be a water theme. So we're gonna do the same thing, but with a water theme. So that's gonna be a lot of fun too. All right, with the foam squares, you always wanna push down any like uh, adhesive. The way that it anchors itself is with pressure. So you wanna make sure that the foam tape will, the foam squares will bounce back but we're activating it. I forgot to put a little bit of glue, right? So this is when this little tip is perfect. I'm gonna squeeze in between and I'm gonna add some glue just to make sure that this thing will stay. And it does dry clear. And you know, I don't, you know from my off the mat projects and stuff like that, I don't like to use glue. I prefer to use tape because I find it's easier for me. I'm super messy, just like this right now, but I wanna get this off and then I'm gonna close this up. Okay, so this is down, let's see. Now let's look at this dome. So this dome is now completely secure, right? I love the sound <laughs> and um, it's just so stinking cute. It goes in like this. 
So we're just gonna glue this down. And then remember our, our glue? Well, first of all, a lot of it is kind of covered, you know, because of the design. But we're gonna stick this, and this goes over the dome and sits kind of like not totally falling down. It sits up above so that I'll show you what it looks like from the side. So you don't really see, there's not enough room for you to really see the glue. And this is, we're almost done. We've got this and then we're gonna glue on the sticks. So super easy, right? All right, so let's do this one thing at a time. Let's put our glue down on this thing to make sure that, and I put a lot of glue. I did the first time as well. I don't know where I think this is going or who's shaking it that needs this much glue, but it is what it is. All right, <laughs> make sure your name is the right side up. Okay, so I put it down. This one, what happens is I'm gonna put it down like this and then I'm actually gonna use the Barely Art glue because I want it to be um, clear. And I'm just gonna glue it into place a little bit. Um, it doesn't need to be a lot, but I just don't want it to fall off. So I'm gonna put it really close to the edge of the paper and the circle. So like I put a little bit right there so that when that dries, that's gonna keep it in place. I'm gonna push it down a little bit more over here and do the same thing over here. And I'm almost wondering if I actually should put, you know what? Maybe if we put a, um, a little glue dot that actually might be really, really good. Um, so give me a second. <laughs> Where are all my glue dots? Oh my gosh. I have it somewhere. Oh, these. So I'm gonna take one of these Zot singles out. One, and I pulled out like six. Okay. So with these little guys, you can kind of, um, you know, roll them up a little bit. They're super, super sticky. And I'm gonna just stick it on the back side. And that way the this little ring isn't gonna go anywhere. I'm gonna do two, I'm gonna do one on each side. And I think we're good then. So I rolled it up and then I'm going to stick it on this side. And I just have some, um, like, you know, the glue strings or whatever you want to call it. Okay. I'm going to do. Let's see, I can see this one is stuck. I'm gonna do one more of these. And then I'll feel really comfortable. And then we'll do the straws and then we'll be done. So here we go. I'm gonna take one more. Uh, let's just do four. Then we'll do like each quadrant. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm rolling this up, so let's see. I have one right there, one right there, so one needs to be right around here. Okay, and then one more at the top. All right, there we have it. And like it. So cute. Okay, so my original design, because it was going on a gift wrap um, present, and this is kind of thick, and I wanted them to be able to keep this in her room if, if they wanted to, so I went with three straws. So these are on Amazon. They're on my shop. I love this one. I used this one for um, recently for the, whatchamacallit, 
the bridal shower. So you could do something like this, right? Like two golds on the side. Or in this case, I actually like the pink more. So I'm gonna do, maybe I'll do these two like this and then a gold one like this. So the way I did it originally was the gold one was in the middle and then these two went a little bit longer like this on the side. So first one is, let's put this one over straight like this. And I always use this as like a way for me to figure out where some, you know, where the straight line is. So I'm gonna hold it like this. Put my glue down. And I'm gonna flip it over at this point. Oh. Holy, that light was so off. <sighs> okay. Whoa. Wow, how did I get so off on that? All right. So I'm going to do this. Oh, that was so bad. <laughs> Don't mind me. Holy, that was so bad. Okay, so I want it like this. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. I'm gonna flip it over. See, and it's still moving. So you just wanna make sure that it's lined up the way you want it to. And then I'm gonna add more. Cause I need this to be super stable. And don't worry, we'll just add a um, pink circle in the back to hide all this glue right here. So right now, what's really important is that we make sure this straw is straight the way we want to. Once this is lined up, then the other two is gonna be easy, right? Because we'll flip this over, we'll line it up like this, and then these two will line up on, you know, a line as well. Okay. I'm just gonna let this settle for a minute. Okay, so this I'm gonna close up. Move this aside. We're gonna clean up just a little bit because I am so messy these days. All right, and don't forget, comments, questions, please let me know what you think or if you need me to redo something. I'm always open to that. Okay, so this is down and see, it's so cute. It's so cute. Okay, so let's put these two on and so I'm lining this up. good to me and then I'm gonna line this one up like this looks good all right so let's put some glue down I'm just really making sure that this is stable because from experience at the bridal shower, the bridal shower brunch, everyone wants to shake it a little bit. So we really want to make sure that everything stays put and that nothing falls apart. It's way too cute to fall apart. Okay. Um, we could just put, cause I, you can make the exact same one, um, you know, flip it over so that the shiny, the glitter side is up if you wanted to do that. Or you could, I'm just gonna do this for now. So I'm gonna put this over just to hide everything. 
because everything's so sticky. Okay. And on this, you could even, you know, write a note, a date or something. And then what I like about this was I, to make sure that it stayed on the gift, I um, took the ribbon and kind of, you know, looped it in and out of the straws. So it really did keep this in place and it was just so stinking cute. But, so there you have it. I absolutely, I mean, this is just one of my favorite projects. So stinking cute. All right, I will see you guys next time, bye. And I just need to turn it off. <laughs> Don't mind me. Bye, guys.